It's super frustrating when you go to download an app or take a photo or a video and it says that your phone is running out of storage and lo and behold, you look it up and the system data is taking up over 10 gigabytes of data when you could be using that data for something that you actually want. I'm going to show you some definite ways to reduce that file size. Now let's get into the settings first. So open up the settings app on your phone. After you've done that, you'll see towards the bottom is general. Just tap on the general option here. And then we'll tap on iPhone storage, the third option down. After we get here, you can see at the very top applications, photos, mail, messages, etc. And if I scroll to the bottom, you can see iOS and system data. You can see I can tap on system data here. It says system data includes the caches, the logs and other resources currently in use by your system. And it does fluctuate. So you could find that your system data is a lot higher or a lot lower than this. But there are some concrete, definite ways that we can reduce it. The first thing we'll do is go back out of here and we'll go to the very top. Basically, any of these apps that are taking up a lot of data will also have a lot of cache and system files that are dumped from these apps into those system files in that folder. So you can see the photos, Drive, Safari, CapCut, etc. So let's go through this list and so help clean it up. The first thing we're going to do is go back to the beginning of your settings. We're going to scroll down to the bottom and you'll see apps at the very bottom. Tap on the apps option. And then we'll scroll down until we get to Safari on this list. So once we get to the S section, tap on Safari. And from here, all you need to do is scroll down until you see the option that says clear history and website data. Just tap on that. And you can see I can choose the last hour or all history, all profiles and close all tabs. Just tap the clear history button to wipe out all of that system data associated with your Safari cache and your cookies, etc. So go through the process of clearing that history. The next thing we will do is another big culprit where your photos most likely. So let's go back to the very beginning of your iPhone settings here. And when you're at the beginning, you'll see your name at the very top. Just tap on your name. And from here, you'll see iCloud midway down. Just tap on that. And then you can see under save to iCloud is photos. Just tap on photos. From here, essentially what we're going to do is make sure this is synced. So tap on sync now and resume syncing and go through the process of syncing everything to your iCloud. After you've done that, we're going to toggle sync this iPhone off and we're going to hit the download of photos and videos. After we've done that, after we've essentially downloaded them all, we're going to toggle this sync this iPhone back on. So essentially, we're turning it off just to reset it and then turn it back on afterwards. Now, another big culprit were your messages taking up a lot of data. Again, all of those apps and app files then basically bloat and cause the system data to increase as well. So decreasing those will help decrease everything else as well. So after we go back to the beginning here of your settings, let's scroll down and tap on the apps option at the very bottom. After we've done that, you're going to scroll down until you get to the option for messages. There it is. Tap on messages. And let's scroll down from here and you can see a bunch of information, but we're going to go to the keep messages. Tap on that. If you have keep messages set to forever, it will never delete out those old messages. And this app will just continuously grow and grow and grow. I would recommend switching this to one year and hitting delete or even 30 days potentially if you're okay with it. Now keep in mind this will delete out all of those old messages including those old photos and videos. So you might want to go in and save those photos and videos of friends, families, relatives, pets, anything like that. Just save them onto your phone so you have a copy of them. Now after we've done that, a next step that we can do is go back to the very beginning of your settings again. And from here, you can see towards the bottom is general. Just tap on the general option again, and we're going to tap on iPhone storage. The next thing we'll do is find apps that are taking up a ton of space. In this case, Google Drive. I can always tap on it and I can choose to offload this app 
and then just reinstall it. By going through this process of offloading it and reinstalling it, you clear out all of the cache and temporary files associated with that, fi uh, that specific app. But also, if you go back, it will help to reduce that system data size. So go through the process of reducing that system data by essentially reducing the size of these various other apps. You can see all of a sudden, Google Drive is no longer on the top of the list. So again, you can go through a lot of these, tap offload, and then just tap on reinstall. And essentially that will reduce the file size of that specific app. Now, after you go through this entire process, the last thing I would recommend doing is shutting down your iPhone. Again, because system data, it says specifically on here, it includes caches, logs, and other resources. So you can see it's currently 11.5 gigabytes. Right before this video, I restarted my iPhone. And before then, you can see at the very bottom, it was 13.7 gigabytes. So it does reduce the size of that, but you can see it constantly fluctuates and constantly changes. So you do need to free up some space, essentially to give that system data ability to fluctuate up and down a few gigabytes while just using it normally throughout the day.